Okay, everyone. So today I'll show you how to create this uh, pillow model very fast. All right. So let me get it. So first, let's go to top menu, create and polygon and uh, a cube. And I would like to give it uh, subdivision sixteen on um, x y z, which is width, height, and depth. Okay, so it is really high resolution, and then I would scale it up along x and z axis and shrink it a little bit. So basically, this is the basic shape of um, the pillow. Okay, so once once you've done, so we'll use n cloth. To actually generate the shape, so we'll switch from modeling to FX, which is effect, and go to end cloth and create end cloth, apply it, and so now if I hit play, you'll see that it start to falling. All right, it generated a shape, but uh, it's not what we want. So we'll go back to frame one. All right, so since we have applied end cloth. We'll go to Attribute Editor, which is the right top menu here, the third icon. So add the end cloth shape. Let's go to Pressure, and let's give it some pressure. Let's do about 0.8. Okay, so now let's give it about maybe 200 frames to let it to simulate, and let's hit Play. Boop. Okay, so now we get the shape, but uh, it's keep falling. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go back to attribute editor, and here we'll click uh, this uh, right arrow, and then we'll go to nuclear tab. And here you can uh, change the gravity. So if we put the gravity at zero, and then go back, and simulate again. All right, so I just uh, stop it at a uh, sixteen frame. And I go forward. So just to find the pose that you are you interested most. Okay. So if you don't like it, just click on play and go more. So I kind of feel um maybe more. Okay. So now I kind of feel it's too soft. So I may go switch back to uncloth shape and give it even more pressure. Okay, looks better. I kind of like this one. Um, so, so as you know, this is an uncloth simulation. So if you change your time, you go to a different time, and then you will notice uh, the shape you just generated. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll select this pillow, and then go to Edit, and Delete by Type, Delete History. So after you Delete History, and then if you go to different time, you can see that um, is it just to keep the shape. All right. So now next step, we'll go to face selection mode, and we'll select this one, this face, and then hold on shift and double click on the second face along with it. Okay. So now you can see that we'll be able to select the whole. Uh, Edge loop, well, is a face loop, and then hold on shift and select this face. Oh, wait, actually, this face, right? The second row, and then hold on shift again and double click on the second one. So you'll select this whole loop as well. So now we have selected both uh, the two loops one on the top, one on the bottom, and then we'll go to tool menu here, switch back to modeling. Go to Edit Mesh, click on that, and we'll extrude. So for extrude thickness, let's add some value. Well, we don't want it to be too large, so maybe just a point uh, zero five or something, All right? And then go back to Object Mode, and let's press three, the number three, to uh, smooth the model. And so we can preview our model in, in smooth mode. Well, I kind of like the result, so I'll go back to one, press one, and uh, this is the actual model. 
Okay, so this time we'll actually smooth it, not just uh, display the smooth preview. Okay, so to smooth the model, we'll go to Mesh, and we'll go to Smooth, and it depends on how many subdivisions you want to apply to it. So let's just uh, put level 1 and apply. So we just uh, smooth it one time, and if you want more, and apply it again. Alright, so now you have uh, a super, super smooth model, you know, pretty. Okay, so this is how you would create this pillow.